Standard 11 Statistic Chapter 1 Collection of Data First of all, we'll talk about the origin and growth of statistic. The German word statistic was first used by Gottfried Eckenwald in 1949 for analysis of data about the states. The initial result of probability theory was found in 17th and 18th century whose two giants were Laplace and Gauss. The advanced field of statistics was developed in late 19th and early 20th century. Carl Pearson was the founder of the mathematical statistics. This origin and growth are some of the important growth and origins of statistics has been removed from the textbook, which exactly going to come for the theory part. Moving to the next. Growth of statistics in India. The India, the Indian Statistic Institute was found by an Indian statistic P. C. Mahanolobis in 1931 at Calcutta. Definition: According to the Craxton and Cowden is as under that is statistic is the science which deal with the collection, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. Now, so here are some of the meaning and differences of the word population. In statistic, the word population means a group of all the units under study is called a population. Example, to study a standard of living of worker of a factory, here worker of a factory become a population for a study. Next, the word sample used in statistic is a set or a group of some unit selected from the population on the basis of some definition criterion is called a sample. Example, if 150 worker selected from the population, then the group of selected worker is called sample. Here sample size is denoted as n. Next, data. Inspection of all the unit of population done for the statistic study. The set of observation obtained by such inspection is called data. Data means a set of observation obtained by the inspection in short. Now here there is a qualitative variables and quantitative variables. First we'll check with qualitative. The collection of data on the attributes that is non-numerical is called qualitative variable Example, religion, gender, honesty, literacy, which cannot be counted in numbers. Next is quantitative variable. The collection of data on the numerical variable is called quantitative. Example, age of person, height, weight, income, production, sales, etc., which can be counted in numbers. They, those are quantitative variable and non-numerical that is qualitative variable now here the data can be collected in two parts it can be a primary data or it can be a secondary data let's see for the first primary data the data collected by investigator for the first time are called primary data now here there are very important methods of collecting primary data first is direct inquiry next indirect inquiry and the last method of questionnaire. Let's see in detail. Direct inquiry. is In this method, an investigator himself or an enumerator appointed by him visit personally to the field and collect the necessary information. To get it clear, here are the examples. To know the health status of municipality school students, an investigator personally meet the students and get information of their health is called direct inquiry. Where the person is getting an uh, inquiry personally by themselves is made a direct inquiry. Next, indirect inquiry. In this method, information is obtained with the help of an organization or agency instead of enumerator. Example, for the information of the education status of the worker of an industry Having 2,000 workers approach the manager of the industry who has a complete record of the worker of the industry 
instead of making a personal visit to each worker. Indirect inquiry where the manager has been asked for about the 2000 workers what are their the educational status so that is indirect inquiry because we if the inquiry made directly to the worker it would be a direct inquiry but if it has been get an information from other person that is indirect inquiry last one method of questionnaire the method of obtaining information by using such type of question is called a method of questionnaire now for detailed answer for this you will get on your page number seven where you can get the whole detail about the method of questionnaire. Moving to the next with the secondary data collection. When an investigator use the data collected by other investigator, such data are called secondary data. Now here in primary data where the very first time when the information has been collected that is primary data but in the secondary data we are using someone else investigation. So that would be our secondary data. Next is there are two main source of collecting secondary data that they are published and unpublished. Let's see for the first publish sources. Secondary data for published sources which can be found from government publication, semi-government publication, international publication, report of research organization, publication of business and commerce organization and the newspaper. When the information collected from the already um, inquiry made by the published sources, that means a secondary data from the published source. Now secondary data from unpublished sources that some of the statistic data are not published. Some time may be drawn on request from the unpublished internal record of private and public organization which are prepared for their reference. For example, salary of employee, their length of service, their education level, PhD th thesis of various university, etc. Now, here there are some precautions which has to be keep in mind while using any of the secondary data. First one is reliability. Before using a secondary data, it should be verified. Means it should be a check. The data collected by published by government are more reliable as compared to any private investigator. So before we use any of the secondary data for our inquiry, it should be verified, means it should be properly checked. Next is purpose. The purpose of collecting data must be relevant to the study. Now here, when you are collecting any secondary data, why you are collecting and what is the purpose? It should be connected with your purpose. Then only it will be related to the study. Next is duration. The collection of data must be not too old. Not too old. Means if you want to make an, any inquiry related to the grains as well. So it should be related a uh, very fresh. Not too old. If you are making any inquiry in the year 2022 and if you collect those data from 90s, so it is not related. So the duration of the collection of data, it should be not so, not too old. Fourth one, avoid direct use. Now direct use of the estimated data should be avoided. The estimated data given in the data may be wrongly calculated. So before we use any of the secondary data, it should be must verified. Fifth, method. The method of collecting data should be known so that investigator become familiar with its advantages and disadvantages. Method means by which method the collection has been done. Is it from direct method, indirect method or questionnaire? So obviously it would be helpful for the investigator to take their decision or to make a familiar with its advantages as well as the disadvantages. Here we complete the first chapter for the theories and in this chapter the only important things only has been recorded. Thank you.